Lei Hong Song Province is located in the northwestern part of Thailand along the Thai Myanmar border. This green and lush area is the most mountainous province in Thailand. Malteser International started working here in 1993. Malteser International is delivering healthcare and wash services to two refugee camps in the Sobmoy district and 16 surrounding Thai villages. These 16 Thai Karen villages contain ethnic Karen communities which are a minority within the country. Due to a long conflict between the Myanmar army and the Karen ethnic minority, Karen communities have been fleeing into the Thai territory. They have now been living in nine camps along the Thai-Myanmar border for almost 20 years. Malteser International is providing health care and wash services for the refugees living in two camps, namely Mei Rama Luang and Mei La Un. These two camps are located in a very remote location in Sobmoy district. Within these camps, large numbers of people are living in limited space and are totally dependent on outside supports for providing their basic needs. Basic healthcare and wash are the key components of any refugee situation which is currently being provided for by Malteser International. Due to the remoteness of this location, providing essential healthcare and wash services for the hill tribe communities, living in small villages dotted in the rainforest and the refugee camps is a big challenge. At the beginning, when Matissa started working, we also have some uh, small problems about wash. People are using bamboo as a water pipe. So we have to change that to be PVC pipe in order to transport water further and stop all kinds of contaminations. The more we go, the problem we face is that we have to share the resources together with Thai surrounding villages. So more than that, we also have to consider the quality of water by putting chlorine in the water when community are getting bigger. This makes us uh, changing a lot of things for community. The water supply systems in both camps have been set up since the refugees first arrived there, but significant improvements in water quality and water storage capacity have now been carried out recently with e-funding. Both water sources and treatment unit are protected with fences in order to avoid water contamination from wild animals, dogs and livestock. The water comes from more than one source to ensure that there is still water during the dry season. If one source dries out, the other source can still provide water for these uprooted communities according to the sphere standard. The water that arrives from the water source is first fed through to a sedimentation tank and then into storage tanks where chlorination takes place. To always ensure the correct dosage, Malteser International uses a fully automatic system that calculates the water flow and then adds the correct amount of chlorine. The electricity for this system comes from installed solar panels. After the chlorination process is completed, the treated water is sent to a section-wide distribution tank. Malteser International is providing safe drinking water 24-7 for refugees. As water sources are located on top of the mountains, the water arrives into the system under high pressure. The Malteser team has turned this into an advantage. They use the pressure to create electricity via small hydro power plants. This electricity is used for the hospitals in the camps. The aim of Malteser International is not only to provide water and sanitation facilities to refugees, but is also to increase the capacity of camp-based technicians called water and sanitation workers on the ongoing operation and maintenance of the wash facilities. They are then able to keep the water supply system running independently. Currently, Malteser delivers construction materials to camp for keeping the water systems running and they monitor and coordinate wash services in the camps. There are meetings with camp staff every month to discuss problems and priorities. Mimi 
In Karen villages, the infrastructure is permanent and there's intensive community participation on planning, implementing and monitoring of their wash facilities to ensure the sustainability whilst creating ownership. Malteser International has improved the water quality and storage capacity of Karen villages by constructing water storage tanks and simple water treatment systems. Now, all the target villages have access to drinking water throughout the year. In any kind of refugee situation, living conditions are challenging. A large number of people living in a small area with lack of access for basic needs always creates the risk of contracting diseases. It's also a perfect environment for spreading communicable diseases such as diarrhea or dysentery faster than a normal situation and could end up with an outbreak. Providing safe water is not the only topic when we talk about wash. Sanitation, access to improved latrines and proper waste management is essential to prevent the spreading of diseases. In Camp, Malteser International is maintaining a 99.5% household latrine coverage. In Karen villages, 100% latrine coverage has been achieved in all target locations. To have healthy conditions in camp with so many people, it's also essential to have a waste disposal system. Malteser International provides material for waste collection points and coordinated teams to carry out the disposal. The collection, transportation and final disposal of waste have been carried out over 22 days in a monthly period. Malteser International has conducted hygiene promotion campaigns in both camps and Karen villages. Provision of hand washing shelters in schools is one of the new activities implemented under an EU project to promote hand washing among school children. Later, toothbrushing was added and it's now called the hand washing and toothbrushing shelter. The dental health workers employed under the private donation of Dr. Uli, a German dental doctor, visits all the camp schools every day and conducts hand washing and toothbrushing sessions before school starts. In a similar way to the camp, Malteser International has constructed hand washing shelters in village schools as well. The other new activity introduced to camps is the production of soap locally. Previously, soap was purchased from Bangkok and transported to camps. <laughs> มาโลบ้านนี่คือแต่มาโลมาดออันนี้นี่เป็นคนเลี้ยงโพสิโกตัวตาอู่เอ๋ดอเฮมาโลคุยนึกได้ดอเปิดกระโดดรอสิโกด
to produce soap locally and so continue to provide it as is necessary to maintain hygiene. In late 2013, Wood Caesar International set up two soap production units, one in each camp, and trained interested individuals on soap production. Currently, two soap production units are producing enough soap required by the two camps on a monthly basis. Camp wash committees are monitoring this activity. The knowledge and experience gained by refugees in soap production will help them to produce soap locally once they move back to Myanmar. Malteser International will continue its support for the refugees for as long as they stay in Thailand. All in all, this project has changed the lives of the people living in two refugee camps and surrounding Thai villages. Uh, during the project period, uh, we were able to provide safe drinking water for almost 30,000 people and the same number of people now having access to improved sanitation facilities as well. Through the introduction of soap production unit, now we are producing soap inside the camp locally with the support of the refugees and distributing free of charge. This will definitely help them to improve their hygiene and we didn't have disease outbreak since years thanks to the activities implemented under this project and under previous projects. I'm sure the knowledge and experience gained by refugees uh, by involving the project activities will definitely help them to restart their life once they return to Myanmar.